So, all right, let's get started here. Um, so, as you can see it here, uh, I only show the Kumo so that you can simply see what's going on in the market by looking at the Kumo only here, okay? Um, this one right here, when you look at the angle of the Kumo here, first of all, is this moving up or is this moving down or is this horizontal? Let me ask, which one do you think it is? When you look at the Kumo here, do you think it's moving up or down or range? Hold on, let me just mark it here. So when you look at the Kumo, the, the direction of the Kumo here, uh, right here, is this moving up or down or range? Which one do you think it is? It's not a trick question. All right, I see up, up, up. Sure, it's moving up, right? It's moving up like this way. Yep, you guys are right, you guys are right. Perfect, perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, you can already make money with that. <laughs> that's great, that's great. So, the Kumo is moving up, and that means the market is on a trend. The market is on a, on a trend, okay? So, if you look back in the past, like let's say uh, in the past, right, in the past market, like to, to uh, like this way, right? Up to here. When you look at the past, is, is the Kumo moving up or down or horizontal? Which one do you think? Well, by the way, this is a EURJP daily chart. And if you look at the angle of the Kumo in the past, is it moving up or down or horizontal? Which one do you think? Again, this is not a trick question. And actually, if you participate, if you just type up or down, or if you uh, you know move your fingers and type it, then that, that can be your output, right? So that you can fully remember what I'm saying. If you only listen to what I'm actually speaking, that's like halfway through of understanding. But if you actually move your fingers and type it, the answer, that's the best way you can learn. So I encourage you to type your answer. So is it moving up or down or range? Which one is it? It's a simple question, right? Yeah, down, 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 right? Yeah, it's moving down, exactly. It's moving down. Sure, sure. Yeah, again, you can make profit with that, right? That's simple, okay? Um, one of the things that you have to remember is uh, that Kumo is actually 26 candles moving ahead, right? 26 candles moving ahead. That means when you look at the Kumo is moving up, actually, this is not when you are looking at the market, right? We're exactly looking at the market when Kumo is moving up is actually uh, 20, 26 candles before. So let me do this. Let me place the uh, vertical line here and I will take 26 candles from this day to 26 candles backwards. It's going to be on this day, right? It's going to be on this day. Um, from this day to this day, there are 26 candlesticks. That means 26 trading days, right? So actually, when you look at the angle of the Kumo is moving up, when you look at the Kumo is moving up, you are actually not looking at this market, but you're looking at, what you're looking at is actually like this, right? Um, if I shift it, Going to be this market okay it's gonna be this market and when you're looking at the kumo is moving down actually this is the market that you're looking at downtrend because kumo is 26 candles forwarded right so that means if you switch back the 26 candles before that's exactly when the market is moving is it clear so Again, Kumo is 26 candles moving forward. So you're looking at, actually looking at the Kumo is moving up right now, right now. But actually that, that was happening 26 candles before. So you have to take that into consideration. So you always have to go back 26 candles before and compare the market in the past so that you can fully capture what was going on in the market. Okay, so some people you know, only look at the Kumo was moving down like this day, right? Like this way. So they think that Kumo is moving down and that was until this day. 
right? The kumo was moving、um, down until this day. But actually, it's not because it's 26 candles forward. So, actually, this day,、uh, this day, on this day when the kumo was forming, actually, that was on this candlestick right here. And that's why if you move whole chart, if you move the whole chart 26 candles before, it's gonna be like this. And When the Kumo is moving down, this is exactly when you want to take trades. And when Kumo is moving up, this is exactly when you want to take trades. Okay, that's the first rule. That's the first rule. Always look at the angle of the Kumo first. It's simple, right? It's simple.、Um, you can actually visually recognize the angle of the Kumo, right? And when the Kumo is moving up, That's when you want to take trace, and when the Kumo is moving down, that's when you want to take trace.